tonight on Noir. We introduce X Games gold medalist Casey Martinez to athletic shooting. Lasort shares his tactical dating advice, and stage seven marks the halfway point of the challenge. Welcome back to Noir. How are you guys doing? Good. Great. Darren? Great. Anything on your mind today? What's going on? You know, I every once in a while I look at Instagram. Every once in a while, like maybe every week or so. You had an Instagram picture a while back uh. that I thought was cool, and I think a lot of people responded well to it. It was your bedside gun. Yes. So it was a 22. Yes. Which made my soul hurt just a little bit because <laughs> 22 caliber is a little light for self-defense gun, but you had something a little bit more in mind when you sent the I 22. did, and I knew I was going to be opening up just an entire <laughs> uh, can of worms with so, the caliber so, debate. So you trolled the internet. Yeah, um, I did. and she I, trolled I kind me. of instigated just a little bit, but I specifically posted this one for a reason because I'm starting to get um, a lot of females contacting me saying, hey, you know, this whole shooting thing looks kind of interesting, and I hear a lot that they're a little nervous mm -hmm. um, to have a firearm. So my thinking was, hey, if they see that I'm putting a 22 out right. on, my, on my dresser, that's something that they can get comfortable with. I by no means think that everybody has to choose um, to own a firearm or anything like that, but I, I specifically put, which one is faster? You know, pulling the trigger on a 22 or waiting for the police to get here? Nice. And so to me, if they can get comfortable having at least something right. there, then maybe they'll upgrade later on. Well, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, a gun is a gun is a gun, whether it's a 22, 380, or 50 cal. Yep. It's a gun. Now, I disagree with you there. Some gun is better than no gun. That's yeah. what I'll always say. Mm -hmm. If it's a 32 ACP, if it's a 25, if it's a 22, it's better than not having anything. Mm -hmm. But I kind of believe that a self-defense minimum caliber is probably 38 special nine millimeter. You know, we carry nines mm -hmm. primarily, uh -huh. but some guns better than no gun. And I love that you're kind of introducing those people yeah. like, hey, you don't have to have a 44 mag in the bedside table. Some guns better than no gun. And we know that most of the time when the bad guy sees a gun, He's gone. And I'm just happy that more females are wanting to like educate themselves on this and be knowledgeable. And hey, if they want to see a picture and that inspires them yeah. to go out and learn about firearms and if that's the caliber that they choose right at the beginning, then right. I'm fine with that. I love it. So, yeah. what do we got up for today? Uh, well, we have an awesome guest today. Very impo unimposingly awesome. Uh, yes. Yeah. She, that makes any sense. It, no, yeah. one of the coolest girls ever. Her name is Casey Martinez. She won the gold medal for the X Games and the Enduro Cross, something I will probably never okay. understand. Yeah. But I want to see how she did shooting with you guys. She was awesome. Let's take All a right? look. So what kind of racing do you do? I do two kind of racing. My main series is the GNCC series. It's Grand National Cross Country. And um, it's basically going out in the woods and it's um, riding a two trail. So it's pretty much two quad ruts going around the whole thing. So It's pretty cool that the, the motocross, the enduro, is sort of similar to shooting in that, like a Jesse Duff or a Lena Michulik, two women who are great shooters, can beat the heck out of the world's best m male shooters. Um, and that you're doing that with a motorbike. So it's kind of cool. There are, there are some similarities between what you do and shooting. So you're going to do some shooting with us today. Mm -hmm. um, and your shooting experience generally like shotguns probably mostly? Yep. Okay. Mostly shotguns, 12 gauge. Let's see what you think about this 1522. Nice. It's real smooth on that trigger. Nice. That's some good shooting. All right, so in this one, so you're on safe, awesome, good job on switching it to safe. Um, and so what we're gonna do is just have you hit the two silhouettes. So this is kind of like our athletic shooting that we're doing, a shorter course of it here, which normally the distances are a little bit longer. And we're gonna have you go ahead and shoot left, right target from here. And then you're gonna run to that cone, shoot left, right, run to that cone, shoot left, right, come back here and shoot the two targets one more time. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Okay, on safe. <laughs> She's a pro. Chest box hits. Okay, excellent. Love your finger off the trigger, good job. And two more times, no misses. Oh, I jinxed you. Just pressure on. 
Nice. So 31 seconds was the time. That was an awesome run. Nice job. Very cool. Um, so that was awesome. And until I jinxed you, you did not miss. I know. <laughs> you now, heard you, me. Had you ever shot like that before? Um, no, I've never shot with running and stuff. Like actually, with a gun in your hand, running and stuff yeah. like that on the stuff. Okay. Yeah, it was pretty okay. fun. Um, <laughs> I got a little adrenaline rush. It, exactly. So that and that's what we want. So I love hearing that. I'm really enjoying myself. Yeah, I'm having cool. a good time out here, and I could see myself, you know, doing this more often. Dude, Lasort. I was just at Starbucks, man, and I met this chick. She's really cool, really chill, not crazy or anything like that. Yeah, she's like a 9.5 on a scale. Yeah, no, I'm sure she's, she's totally a girl. She's not a dude. Yeah, some positive, man. So, um, yeah, I'm going to be at your place in about five minutes, and I, I need you to teach me how to cook because this chick basically invited herself over to my place. And... Yes, dude, it's, yes, I'm positive she's not a man. All right. So obviously, I was already cooking some dinner when you called. Got elk steaks here. Got some potatoes, meat and potatoes. If she doesn't like meat and potatoes. Dude, what if she's a vegetarian? What's that? You know, vegetarians, people who don't eat meat, you know, they think that eating meat is doing harm to animals and they don't approve of it. Nah, 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 nah. I don't want, no. You got to let her know that you're ready for any situation. One of the first things I do on a first date when somebody comes over here is I let them know their gun staged throughout the house in case something happens while they're here. I mean, you know, good example, the old Gun in the refrigerator. I mean, how do you apply? Why, why do you have a gun in the refrigerator, dude? If somebody kicks down the door right now, how am I gonna get past him, dude? He's already right there. Next thing you do is you have something queued up on the DVD. So when she comes in, I mean, you know, I've got some stuff here like Magpul Dynamics, the art of the tactical carbine, AK operator from Jaeger, shooting missology from Jaeger. Fighting Rifle. Any of those would be winners right out of the gate. Just have it queued up on the DVD. When the TV goes on, it's there. If you think that's over the top, got Miami Vice, Way of the Gun. I mean, those are like movies, like real movies, entertainment stuff. So the other thing you should do is, I mean, like, I stage my tack vest. I mean, she needs to know you're serious. Like, you know, you have a gun in the fridge. It might not impress her. It might not be cool enough. She might not think you're ready enough. She sees your tack vest, ready to go. Obviously, she knows that you're ready for anything. So what I generally do is stage it in a place where I know she's gonna have to go. I hang mine on the doorknob of the closet right in front of the toilet. She's gonna have to go to the bathroom at some point. So she'll see it. And it'll be like natural, it'll be just there. The other thing I do is you don't want them to think that you're a one trick pony, like guns are all you do. So somehow she's got to see your knife collection. Somehow pulling a 44 Magnum out of the refrigerator kind of does get that off. I still don't know why that's weird. So we both live in high rises. You, she needs to know that you're ready for fire too. Obviously, show her the map outside in the hallway of how to get out of the building if she needs to be out of the building. But if there's a fire right out the door, you have like a rope system to get out your window, right? And another thing you can do is like have the Magpul calendar up on the wall. It makes sure that she understands that women can be comfortable with guns under any circumstance. Right. So with that being said, I'm just going to go ahead and take care of this myself. If you burn the 9.5, which you're going to, you can't blame me. I tried. Is this Victor's Steakhouse? I need a reservation for two. Just give me any time. Nine o'clock? Perfect. All right, thank you. Victor's Steakhouse? I thought you said she doesn't eat meat. Oh, yeah. Okay, we'll start saying some prayers. Adventure breeds character and the path should be less traveled. Independence breeds survival, and you must depend on who you know you are. Your inspiration drives you to never 
waste a moment. As a pioneer, an advocate, a gun owner, it's time to celebrate your lifestyle every single day. So we got a chance to shoot with somebody who's kind of off the beaten path a little bit with respect to the gun world. Yeah. Uh, Casey Martinez, the Enduro Cross yeah. X Games gold medalist. The yeah. ladies represented this week. So is like stud at a word? Cause it, it is now. It is now. At. Okay, well, yeah. I just coined it. I mean, they are so <laughs> hard to run well. And the fact that she wins the X Game gold medal is cool. Wait a minute, how do you know that? Dirt bikes? Yeah. Because I've tried and almost killed myself. He's crashed with you, well, no, yeah. Just, like, again, I'm gonna be labor at this point. Was when I wanna buy a bike and I was like, hey, Sort. I'm thinking about buying a bike. He like turns into my grandma. Yeah, because I've ridden mm -hmm. lots of road bikes well, and around a, Dallas. On the Dallas roads, mm -hmm. that's not riding them out in the middle of nowhere. You're where, supposed to yeah, be on you're my not side. gonna get hit by crazy <laughs> drivers. You're supposed to be on my side. Not gonna happen. Well, I don't want. I don't want to lose you. So that's you know. Right. You care. You care. Okay. But she is just that good. It's so cool to see a young woman who is in that field that yeah. used to be yep, dominated by it. men and do so well. I mean, she's like winning overall races. Yeah. So beating the men and the women yeah. when she goes into races. What was interesting is when she brought up. You know, you would think. You know, something like motor like Enduro Cross requires like brute force to manhandle right. the bike. If, and if anything, her being a woman actually is to her advantage. That's what she would argue, which I would have never thought. So she's, you know, was talking about how you get forearm swell where, where you just can't, you lose control oh, of your sure. hands and you have a clutch to worry about yep. and a brake to worry about and all that. She said basically you get to the point where you just can't operate the bike anymore. Yeah. So she doesn't use a lot of weights to build her forearms, which you think huh. she would. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I want to see you guys get after it on the freestyle field. <laughs> so. See if Cole can make his comeback. <laughs> yes, yes. Want to see comeback. that. What are, what's the time right now? Where are we at? Yeah, speaking of comeback, right now, Cole is at 4 minutes and 39 seconds right now, and Lasort is in the lead at 3 minutes and 56 seconds. So let's get on to this next stage. Stage seven begins with two handgun shots from the 20 yard line and a quick run to the 70 for 10 hits with an AR-15. After landing those shots, shooters put their AR on safe, place it down and sprint to the 100 yard line. The clock will stop as soon as they cross the finish line. Okay, Coleon, so we're getting started with this next stage. Lasort's up and he's up in point two. Hit his first two shots. You're gonna get him on the sprint. This could be a stage that you can make up some ground because you are faster. Your track star is gonna have to come out though, okay? Okay, we'll start saying some prayers. I forgot. And there, there's that sprint. That was a pretty impressive All sprint right. for him. I forgot about the run. Him at? Fair enough. 2633. 2633. Right. I think we forgot. I was still getting run, I think you can complete it with that. We're going to bring him over and talk to you him about it. You got the run of the 100 on that one. I did. We're going to bring him Hold over on. and what talk to him. What did you forget to do? I forgot to sprint. What are you talking about? He forgot I, I took, to sprint. I had delayed. I, I forgot that I was supposed to sprint. Uh, I was putting the gun down all slow. What do you I'm think? I'm impressed with you talking this well after doing that sprint. That was, that's pretty impressive. I think it was delayed onset of exhaustion. Were you running backwards? I was running backwards. I was running backwards a little bit. That was some impressive shit. Good luck, buddy. Yes, it's time to make it. Thanks. I felt good. good. I felt real good. Well, I was well, clean. You I had get one on miss. it. You got it. You got to get your giddy up on. I'm going to tell you what. On. What do you got? There's two shots. Yeah. Shooting them with my eyes closed. <laughs> That's his new strategy. <laughs> Okay, Lasort, so we're getting Ready? started now with Coleon at this stage. Yep. I'm, he's very, very impressive with a handgun, yep. obviously. Watch out fast. But, uh, yep. yep. Okay. And then so, the speed, bam, bam. And the speed. He is. He is very, very impressive with his sprints. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Run. 
So I think this is going to be a pretty close stage here because he didn't have any delay on the sprint. Time. No delay on the sprint. I like that. 27-25. I think you mentioned him out a couple there. I love you, but I don't know. It looked a little suspect. I feel like I'm. I feel like I ran it faster than you did. I feel like there's a little bit of a time warp there. I, you saw it. I I do love you too, <laughs> but I was really confused sitting there watching when they called the timeout. Right. I was like, oh, I don't know. Maybe he's a lot faster than we thought, Koyani. Well, he beat you on so. maybe or faster he, on the shooting part. I mean, he, he must have made up some old time there. Deceptive speed or something like that. You saw how big yeah, he was old. grinning on the sprint. Maybe that's what it is. If you would be happier when you're sprinting, right. maybe your time would be more busy relaxed. breathing. <laughs> So I think there are two things. I mean, I agree with you. Like, mm -hmm. and you just, you know, we watch it, and it looks like you should have probably won that stage. You know, it was like seven-tenths of a second somewhere in there, whatever. But you had a couple misses that I think made you a little slower. I actually you didn't had, run it clean either. Well, I didn't. I had at least one that I remember, two. but probably two. And so I had a hesitation, <laughs> though. When I laid the rifle down, I forgot about the sprint across the 100-yard finish line. So I had a hesitation there, mm. which actually made me have a like well, a Well, and he had like a little mission. stumble. Too. Going up to the right. I got those cat like reflexes. That's true. <laughs> you you saved yourself. You always land on your feet. I, I mean, it was like, well, like a one second difference. Yeah, it was less than one second. That's fun, though. It's yeah. making it so competitive. That means everything. I know. I know. There, it's it just, just a one second difference. <laughs> and that's really the idea of getting down to the freestyle shooting. If we do everything right and we are against some of the best shooters mm -hmm. on the planet or the best shooters on the planet are facing one another, we are talking about tenths Seconds. of a second. You're right. I mean, it really yep. should come down to that in an ideal situation, just like it does in a lot of other sports, certainly in, in races and Olympic activities. Yep. Tenths of a second mean everything. And really, when you see the best shooters in the world doing our freestyle shooting, that's where it comes down to, I think. Yeah, well, you got about 40 seconds overall to make up, well, which I think you can do that. Katie, what do you think? I mean, you, you were seeing the action. You think he has a chance still? I think he has a chance because he is so athletic-minded that he's streaky. So if he hits a hot streak, I think he has absolutely every chance Ooh, to come back. But if it. he gets in a rut, no offense, no offense <laughs> for you. So I guess there, there's a lot left to see. If there's ever a word that describes my friend Butterfly, it is streaky. It is streaky. <laughs> well, let's see if streaky is going to make up those 40 oh, seconds next week. <laughs> and guys, don't forget to use hashtag Team Lasort. If you think he's gonna win, or Team Noir, if you think this guy's gonna pull it off, Great we'll week. see you guys next week. Next week on Noir. Harder, harder, you're knocking his head off. Let's go. He seems to be working the bolt better too yeah. this time. And then he had, oh. Oh man, oh he's gonna be mad after yeah. this.